Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading that is for the beautiful sign of Gemini. My dear friends Gemini, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it really is important that you do take whatever resonates with you and that you really leave the rest of it aside. Um, if you do have any questions, if you do have any doubts about this maybe resonating a lot with you and resembling your situation, you'd like a reading, please do contact me. All of my information is right below into the YouTube description box. My readings are there also. Um, so it'll be my pleasure to assist you. Please do not hesitate. Um, also, if you do enjoy the channel, you have not yet subscribed, please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself. And it is always and greatly appreciated. And I do thank you so very much. So we are going to begin this reading. This reading is about third parties. It is for the sign of Gemini. This reading is if you don't quite know, you don't have that uh, certitude, you're not sure if there is a third party or not. So I'm using Tarot and I'm using Lenormand. I am going to remove the Lenormand for just a moment. Time for us to look at the um, Tarot. Let's go see what the Tarot has to say. We have the Knight of Swords followed by the Seven of Cups. We also have the Strength, the Queen of Wands, Page of Swords, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands and a Knight of Wands. I have the King of Swords and Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and I have the Justice card. So, okay. I do have to say that there are some problems there are some thoughts, but there's no third party. Um, not in these in these messages. We'll go and validate the whole thing with the Lenormand after, but I do have to say I feel as though I feel like this relationship is tired. I feel like both parties have had a little bit enough. I feel like I feel like you want to stick around. I feel like you've had enough also, but you don't want to leave, so you're still sticking around. Um, but I do feel strongly that the partner is slowly leaving. I feel like they are, they're ready to leave, um, but they're sticking around for a little bit more. For which reason are they st is sticking around? I don't feel as though there's any financial reason for them sticking around. I do believe that maybe they're just trying to give it one last chance. Um, so if you do want this relationship to work out at some point, you're going to have to sit down and have a great discussion um, to try and figure it out because I I have a lot of, of knights here which are all in movement. They're all leaving. Um, they're all quite decisive. They know where they're going. As I said, it's not a money reason. Um, I feel as though, like I said, this is the last straw, if you will, okay? one more like huge fight about cheating or something and they might just call everything off. Um, I feel like this is just, I'm going to stick this, and again this with the nine of wands, I'm going to put my last wand into the ground here um, because I feel like I have to and I have no choice and I'm going to do it and I'm going to do my duty but then that is it. I've pretty much had enough of this. Um, so this, as I said, is really a temporary solution. I find as though Right now, there are some possibilities. I feel as though, um, I feel like they have had the opportunity to um, to cheat or to have a third party, but they have not. But I still feel as though they do have that opportunity around. So no, they have not cheated, but the opportunity is still there. Um, they haven't jumped to the opportunity yet, So, but they're I feel as though they're a little bit evaluating the situation, but I honestly don't think that it's much into their personality to do something like this. So um, I believe that if ever they, you know, I like I said, I feel like they're leaving. So if you do want to keep this relationship, you're going to have to work hard to try and keep it there and have, a, you know, some, some great talks because I feel like there are some people around who are turning around your partner who could be really quite interested in him or her, but 
but they're not doing anything right now because um, it's just not part of them. It's just not the way that they are, but they do have a chance to do it, okay? If they wanted to, they could, but they're not. Um, I know that you're holding on for everything that you got here. You're holding on for strength. I feel as though when they decide that it's going to be enough and that they're going to leave, that is going to be it. I feel like they do have a great... Um, they're very decisive when something is decided that is what they do and that is it um I feel as though maybe like they're sticking around but I feel like they just feel like this relationship maybe they're just not meant for a relationship or anyways not a long-term relationship like this not right now and in their lives for different reasons um and whenever this relationship I do like I said I feel like they're leaving if I look into the cards here I do have the Ten of Swords, which is really depicting to me that it is the end of the relationship and the relationship is not reconstructable anymore. Um, I feel like there there is some kind of uh, justice here that's going to be... Um, I feel like you want to have or give out some justice. I feel like when this relationship, if it does end, I feel like you're going to want to give out some justice. Um, maybe for the time that you spent, maybe for, you know, maybe you're still going to feel like they cheated on you. Um, maybe you're not quite going to believe them and it's still going to linger with you and you're going to feel like you're going to want some justice out of this. Um and I feel like right now, you know, you, you're just not getting what you want out of this relationship. You're looking for love. You're not getting that love that you're supposed to want and that you want to have. So this is one of the main problems here. Um, so I'm going to go and look at the um, Lenormand, see what the Lenormand has to say, see if it has any secrets for us or if it's going to be, um, if it's going to resonate and correlate with our terror over here. Let's go see. I have the ring. I have the clouds, followed by the mountains, I have the heart, the cage, the woman, the child, the well, I have the swans, I have the rider, I have the tower, the letter, magnifying glass, and I have flowers. Okay, so I strongly feel as though, um, I feel like your partner is being really um, childish within all of this. Maybe they aren't giving you all the information. Maybe they don't want to talk. Maybe they're acting childish when you want to ask them things and you want to discuss. And they just have that type of attitude, really thinking about themselves, very egocentric. And this is creating quite some problems. It's really quite difficult to communicate with them. Um, I feel like you are going to receive some type of communication. Maybe they're going to be trying to communicate to you, but maybe not verbally. Maybe it will be by a text or by a message, but you are going to be receiving something, okay? Uh, some kind of communication from them. Um, I feel as though, you know, both of your towers are just held all the way up. They're so high up. It's going to be so difficult to break those barriers down. Um, if you don't want to be stuck into this cycle and you want to break free out of all of this, um, as I said, still, same thing, communicate. Uh, there's a lot of storms. I see that there's a lot of conflicts coming around. Um, I feel as though right now you're feeling like you're at the bottom of the well and you don't see the clearing. You just don't know how to get out of that well, how to go get that light. But I'm here to tell you that there is a light. There is, you know, some positive that is coming to you. Um, I just have to say that I don't believe that the positive is coming from this relationship itself. So, um, this does uh, conclude this reading. Is there a third party within these uh, cards that I do have here within both decks for Gemini? I do have to say there are some problems. They do have some occasions and some opportunities, but nothing has been done. Um, then again, you know, um, once again, like I say, for every sign, if ever you do have any serious doubts, you would like to have your own reading, please do contact me. Um, all my readings are right below into the YouTube description box. It'll be my pleasure to assist you. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I wish you a beautiful day. I thank you for being there and I will see you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you.